Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily where I talk about all of the crafty goodness that I have been up to over the past couple weeks. Today is August 16th, 2021 and I have a mix of knitting and cross stitch to show you today. I still don't feel like I've been doing enough to get back to splitting the videos between knitting and cross stitch every week again. I hope that's fine with you guys. Um, I've been having some stuff which I'm not going to get into um, going on behind the scenes that's kept me kind of busy and um, I just haven't had the crafting time that I probably would have liked. So, but I do still have stuff to show you, so that's good. Um, I will also note there's paint all over my hands. I was painting today, so don't worry about me. I'm fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, before we jump on in, there are a couple places you can find me on the internet. The first being on Instagram at birch.and.lily. You can also find me on Ravelry and uh, Lovecrafts with my knitting patterns. And if you want to see all of the yarn I have dyed up, also my knitting patterns, all the things are also available on my website, birchandlilyfiber.com. Everything will be linked down below in the description. So yeah, like I said, I don't have tons to show. I do have a new start. Um, and I do have some possible new starts soon. Uh, <laughs> I have some socks that I want to cast on. I have I have yarn picked out rather for some socks I want to cast on. Not this the pattern picked yet, but I thought I would show you guys that as well since I'll probably be starting that within the next couple days. Probably tomorrow when this goes up. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's stop rambling and jump right on in. So I do have a new cross stitch start. It is in a bag that matches nothing about what this is, but. It's cute and I want it to be fall. Um, this is Mary Argent um, in brackets Be Humble. It's a pattern by Needlework Press and I believe you can only purchase this in a kit from the Country Sampler if I'm correct, um, which is what I did and I started it today. I'm not gonna lie there's not very much done but I felt like starting something so I did. <laughs> um, so I am using all of the called for threads for this project. Uh, we mostly have Weeks Dye Works here with one classic color works. And I am stitching this up on the called for slash included fabric, which is a 36 count sand. And I'm stitching this one thread over to linen threads. So that is all I've done. <laughs> I literally basically just, um, measured out my starting point on the fabric. So I usually like to leave three inches of margin with my projects. Um, so I measured that out and put in the first thread and started it. So not tons, but I thought I would show you because I like the project and I'm sure I'll have posted a picture on the side so you can see what it's gonna look like. So not tons to say about that, obviously, <laughs> but um, are you stitching this? I feel like maybe a couple months ago, it was really, really popular and everyone was starting it. And that is when I purchased the kit and then I just didn't start it because I was busy with other stuff, I guess. And not gonna lie, I think I forgot about it for a while. But um, I saw it the other day on my desk. Apologies for the disaster behind me. I'm slowly cleaning and reorganizing. Um, but I saw it on my desk the other day and I really wanted to start it, so I did it. Something else I haven't pulled out in a little while is in this bag from Birch Grove. This is my pair of flower crown socks, a pattern by Lindsay Fowler of Lark's Burnets. Um, and I'm netting this out of a one of a kind skein of Birch and Lily Fabrico. I dyed this up when I was kind of just figuring out how the heck to dye yarn. <laughs> um, and so I have some of these laying around and I thought I would knit some family, some socks out of them. Um, since this is not a base that I am currently selling and I still wanted to get some use out of it and give it to someone who would love it very much. So Christmas stash knitting <laughs> is uh, starting. So I have one sock done. I am doing shorties, obviously. This pattern does call for shorty socks. You could totally adapt it to not be shorties if you wanted. Um, but it has this super cute bobble cuff cast on. Um, I didn't do it exactly to pattern 
Um, I don't want to give away how it works because it's a paid for pattern, but I did not attach the bobbles to the cast on. I don't think that gives away too much. Um, I was happy with how they looked like this. There we go, that's focused. I was happy with how that looked, so I just left it. Um, and yeah, I did, I think, five rows for the cuff before I moved into the heel flap and gusset. And then just knit away. It looks so ridiculously long <laughs> because it has no leg. It's not long. It is, I have cardboard cutouts of all of my family's feet so that I don't have to like ask them for measurements all the time or anything. I just try the sock on the cutout. And this fits the cardboard cutouts of the person who's going to get it. So I'm not worried. Um, that progress keeper there I think is from Sucre Sucre Miniatures. That's where I was the last time I showed this on the podcast. Um, so yeah, obviously the first sock is finished. Um, let's see, 2.25 millimeter needles, a US one is what I used, and these are 64 stitches. The pattern has tons of sizes. Um, if you're looking for a pattern with like all the options in the world for sizes for socks, this is a great one. And I did cast on the second sock on Sunday, I think, yeah, yesterday. Um, we went out to a lake nearby with some friends from church and had a lovely time and I cast these on on the drive down because it was about a half an hour drive from our place. So the second sock is cast on. The heel flap, oh goodness I'm out of frame today. <laughs> the heel flap and gus, well the heel flap is done, the gusset is not. I'm about halfway through decreasing stitches in the gusset. But here's the pattern on the front of it. It's so easy. I have it totally memorized. I guess I could move this yarn, hey? <laughs> totally memorized. Um, and I really, really like it. Like I said, it's so cute. It's so easy. It's so fast. I have been loving knitting shorties and all of the yarn I have picked out to knit socks is going to be shorties except for one. So it's been fun. I don't know. I guess I have always loved the satisfaction of finishing socks really quick and finishing a pair of shorties is even faster than a full length pair of socks. So it's my jam. That is what I've been liking lately. So the next project I have to show you is another cross stitch piece. I've been working on this for a while. I haven't pulled it out in a while though. Um, this is a Savior's Praise by the Shakespeare's Peddler and I have it in this pretty bag. This is from Pretty Southern and actually the one I showed you with the pumpkins on it is also from Pretty Southern. Um, but yeah, I'm stitching this project up with all the called for threads, which I'll show you momentarily. The fabric I'm using is 40 count beach brew and I'm stitching it one thread over two linen threads. So this pattern calls for a lot of anchor threads. I always say, if you don't know what anchor is, um, it's basically DMC, but a different brand. Um, so these are the colors, lots of pretty greens with a couple pops of red. A pop or two of blue. Yeah, very pretty. But the anchor threads definitely make this a more affordable project. If you're looking to do like a big huge sampler but you don't want to spend tons of money on it, this would be a good one. This is gonna be fun to hold up. Oh, it does fit. Okay, um, so let's see. What have I done? Mostly, if you can see the trees down there at the bottom, that's basically all I've worked on since I pulled it out. I put in half of that, that half done tree there, the grass below the trees I all did. Yeah, not, not tons. Again, I pulled this out just like a couple days ago because I felt like working on something different. So, but it is beautiful. I can't even remember how many pages are in this pattern. Tons. <laughs> it's big. Um, I would, like you can always stitch it on a bigger count. Totally totally whatever you want but I would recommend doing it on a higher count because it makes the project smaller because this is this is massive as it is when you look at how much fabric I've already filled so very pretty I love this one I remember I think I showed this to my grandma at Christmas and she's like do you do you know who you're giving that to I'm like well it's I'm probably gonna keep it and she's like well if you really don't want it I'll take it <laughs> Okay, Grandma. Sounds good. So, I 
have a backup for it, I guess, if I don't want it, but I do want it. I like it a lot. It's been really fun to work on. Um, there are a lot of color changes, so if that's not your thing, probably not a great project, but I kind of like it because it keeps me on my toes. So loving this. Glad I pulled it out again, and I'm definitely going to keep working on it. Well, I lost a DPN. <laughs> that's okay. I'll find it eventually. I am only using it for cabling on this project anyways because I don't own a cable needle, so I use DPNs. Um, so this project I did show last episode. This is my melon headband. It is a knitting project by Sari Nordland, and it's lovely, and I have been still enjoying it. I didn't get nearly as much done since last episode, but I've got some done. Um, I am knitting this out of a homespun house. This is a club colorway from, I think, 2018 called Elderberry. Is it Elderberry? Thank goodness for notes. Yes, it is Elderberry. <laughs> um, very pretty. I wanted something purple, because I love purple, but still neutral enough that it would match with lots of stuff. So this has been perfect. Um, so this is Tangled. One moment. This is a project that is knit in the round. You knit one big huge long tube and then eventually it will be connected together. Um, and when you connect it, you do put a twist into it. It looks really cute. Again, I'll put a picture up, <laughs> but it's gonna take forever. Um, I think when I measured this after last episode, I had about 12 inches and I need to get it to 21 uh, so I have a lot to do still but I guess when I block it it's gonna grow too so maybe you know what I should actually do is do like a really rough block of this on my needles still like obviously keep the needles out of the water but block most of it and see how big it grows and then measure it because I might not have to do as much still if I do that because the measurement included in the pattern is when this is blocked, I believe. I should know more before I start recording these. Anyways, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to block this roughly and kind of see how much it grows after I do that. Um, but very cute. Love the cables. I am knitting this on 2.75 millimeter needles, which is a US 2. Um, it is what the pattern calls for. I did not gauge swatch because it's a headband and I didn't care that much. Uh, this piece of cake here, this Progress Keeper, that is where I was last episode and that is made by Sucre Sucre Miniatures. So yeah, not much else to say about that, really. I haven't done that much. Um, I knit to a certain point and typical me, I found a mistake and ripped back because I can't leave mistakes. Um, so that definitely took up some of my time, but really fun. Would like to have this done for winter. I've been saying that for the past two years and my mom, my lovely mother, <laughs> texts me every couple months and says, hey, have you worked on that headband in a while? So I should really finish it because I think she wants it done more than I do. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That's all I worked on knitting wise. I do have one other quick cross stitch update to show you, which is A Perfect World by The Scarlet House. If you've watched the past couple episodes, this has been the main cross stitch project I have been working on. I have it in a bag from The Sag and Stitch. Um, this is really fun. I like it a lot. It's sampler-esque, but not so big. Um, I am using the called four threads. They are a mess, apparently. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> and I'm stitching this up on 40 count mallow, one thread over two linen threads. And here we go. So, I've got lots done on the house. A fun fact, I ripped out the whole house though after last episode because I had counted it incorrectly. Um, that is why one of the uh, chimneys is missing on the top of it because I had made the roof I think two stitches too short and so nothing was fitting properly onto it and I wasn't about to leave it because that would have bothered me so 
I ripped it out and fixed it. Um, since last episode, those two little dogs are new. Um, all the stuff below the grass is new as well. I kind of wanted to start... Can you see this? Yes, you can. <laughs> I wanted to start on these so that they were all done, and this is literally all black fill-in around all of those, so I wanted to just be able to have that to do when I really didn't want to think, but I still wanted to cross-stitch. So that is kind of my plan with that. Um, but yeah, otherwise I haven't done tons, but it's looking cute, so that is that. But if you'll give me a moment, but not really, because once I edit this, it'll be literally a second for you. Um, I will grab the yarn that I'm planning to cast stuff on with. So I have three different skeins pulled for socks. I also do want to cast on something with my yarn, but I'm waiting for more yarn to arrive that I can dye. I have a bunch of pre-orders from the previous update, which if you're looking for a pre-order update, your yarn is on the way. It should be here Wednesday and then I will start dyeing. So hopefully I will have it out before the time frame of 46 weeks, but we'll see. <laughs> um, anyways, moving on. Um, I have three skeins here that I want to do for socks and then possibly a shawl at some point, but I do have a couple of those secret test knits that I need to work on and get done as well. So the shawl will probably have to wait a little bit, but anyways, I have two skeins pulled for shorties. I'll probably make a couple pairs out of these to be honest. Um, because I have enough here to make at least two, maybe three pairs of socks. So I might just use these up and knit like a pair for my mom and my sister and either my friend or my mother-in-law, depending on the color. Um, but unfortunately, these two skeins, the dyers are not dying anymore. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to get them out of the stash and used up too, because I feel bad showing stuff <laughs> that you guys can't get. But this here is from People Who Fields. It's so cute. Um, I love, can you see those green? Oh, they're kind of blowing out the green specks there in the top. What if I flip it? Yeah, away from the light. <laughs> so pretty. Um, this is called Dahlia. And let's see, what's the base? This is 75-25 sock base. So I definitely want to knit some shorties out of this. And then I also have pulled here from Maker's Haven. This is a sparkle base. So I... Let's see, 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 5% Sparkle, so like a Stellina. It's a silver Stellina from what I can tell. Um, but again, really cute, kind of pastel-y. Um, what are you called? The Chirp of Crickets. So I'd love to use this up as well and get some gifts knit. Because if I'm feeling in the mood to knit Christmas gifts, might as well start now, right? <laughs> and then on the topic of Christmas knits as well. I always knit my husband a pair of socks for Christmas and I have a large stash of mustache yarns for Star Wars themed yarn because he loves Star Wars. So this year I think he's going to get a pair of Lando socks which he doesn't know yet but I'm excited about. Um, and this is actually one of her Millen skeins so mustache yarn sells like partial size skeins, I guess is the best way to put this. This one is 80 grams instead of 100, but they're sold at a discounted rate then, which is totally fine for me because I never use a full skein to knit a pair of socks anyway. So, and this, I think these are still, yeah. So Mustache Yarns does something where there's actually two skeins in this skein so that you can knit perfectly matching socks. So what I might do is actually cast on both of his socks at the same time and work them in tandem back and forth. Um, so that they match perfect and hopefully I'll feel like I'm getting them done faster because he has size 12 feet. <laughs> so anyways, that is what I'm going to knit him for Christmas this year. So yeah, I think that is everything that I have to show you all this episode. I know I promised last week that I would have the Felici yarn video uploaded. It didn't happen. I apologize for that, um, but I will definitely get that recorded and up for this week. Um, and as well, I'll mention it in that video because I think some people don't particularly watch all the way through these videos and don't see it. But if you're interested in my yarn stash, it's ready to go. 
Um, what I am thinking is I'm going to do it on my Instagram stories. Um, because even if you don't have Instagram, you can still watch the stories. So what I would plan to do is have it up at a specific time so that everyone, no matter if you have Instagram or not, would be able to look. Um, have them up on my stories and then I can invoice based on what people would want. Um, cause that is easier for me than doing everything through the website just because of inventory disaster mess on website. I can't think of a way to do it easily. <laughs> so let me know what you think about that. Um, let me know too what time would be best for you. I'm assuming a lot of people would like like later in the evening or at some point on the weekend, but let me know down in the comments. That would be very helpful to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will stop rambling. I always tend to ramble at the end. I don't feel like I'm a big chatty person on my podcasts, but then when I'm editing, I ramble on forever at the end. So I guess that kind of am chatty. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, if you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. And thank you so much for joining me for another episode. I will see you all next week. No, I will see you this week with the Fleechy video. And then I'll see you next week <laughs> for another podcast. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.